Kalarov and Perez defensively sizable 46 point lead began on Thursday night's Spectator Special, involving a bit of tarmac and a bit of gravel. It was won by title rival Thierry Neuville. Friday's only casualty was Elvin Evans. He cracked the Yaris cooling pack on a compression in stage three and retired for the day. A blow to his championship. Nerville's early lead was soon gone. Another technical problem, this time his transmission. It was stage five, a minute and 48 seconds were lost. He tumbled to 10th place. In eighth place, Kalarov and Perra. No miracles in the dirt so far, no stage wins just yet. Just a nail-biting and bumpy slide in stage four, and it caused him to lose his rear wing. The rally lead was being hotly contested in second. Former leader, Oit Tamek, a previous winner on this unforgiving island. The Estonian won stage six, but then was worried by a transmission issue after a bumpy ride in the next test. Just about out in front is Esapeka Lappi. Toyota's other part-timer, two stage wins were made possible with a later road position on cleaner, faster stages. Joy on Friday for the Finnish leader, but Saturday had no sooner started than it was over. For the rally leader himself, too fast in Tempio, Bish, Bash, Bosch and Esapeka Lappi was out. Adrian Formo knew he must consolidate his fifth place, but at great speed, the Frenchman slid into some branches and the undergrowth. The impact looked terminal. Fans tried to free him, but the view from Danny Sordo's car showed the damage and the reason why the stage would be interrupted. On the podium, Danny Sordo. He spent the entire day in third. Only he knows if Hyundai have it in them to go one more and make it a 1-2 on Sunday. Craig Breen stubbornly resisted anyone eyeing up his second place. He was clever when he had to be and found the right places to push and maintain the gap back to Sorda. After half a dozen impressive stage wins, Oit Tanak has emerged after a brutal and bruising ride with a healthy lead, 46 seconds, as they head into the final day. There was no denying it. One man and one man only had his eyes on the power stage points in Sardinia. Thierry Nerville claimed the full five bonus points. Championship leader Kalarov and Pera finished in a respectable fifth, considering his road position. He also came second in the power stage to net an extra four points. Fourth place belonged to Pierre Louis Loubet, his best rally of the season, and he ensures there's two M Sports in the top four. Another podium for Spain's Danny Sordo. Disappointed not to be able to be more of a threat to the two drivers ahead of him, but his third place was an important part of Hyundai's success in it. Craig Breen brought his M Sport Ford Puma home in second place for an eighth career podium. There was a little moment for Tanak towards the end of the Sardinia power stage, but nothing to worry the Estonian. Tanak won his 300th stage this morning. This becomes his second victory on this island, but importantly, it's his first victory this season. Uh, it's been uh, challenging, very challenging, uh, especially beginning of uh, this generation. So definitely very happy, uh, especially for uh, all the mechanics. Actually, they put uh, incredible effort, you know, uh, all the end of the last year and beginning of this year. And uh, also now this rally, you know, it was never easy. So they made good job to, to keep the car going. So uh, no, it was definitely challenging. So a 15th career victory for the Estonian. Smiles all round for Craig Breen in second place. Danny Sordo makes it a Hyundai 1-3. Robin Perra's fifth place overall and four bonus points from the power stage mean he actually extends his lead over Thierry Nerville in the championship to 55 points after just five events. Following that victory, Tanak leapfrogs Takamoto Katsuta and into third place. No Toyotas on the podium, and that means their lead in the Manufacturers Championship is now down to 39 points. Hyundai still second, with M Sport Ford in third place. WRC Plus, all live.